many funny humorous poems. But here is one from T.S. Eliot. The Naming of Cats The naming of cats is a difficult matter. It isn't just one of your holiday games. You may think at first, I'm as mad as a hatter. When I tell you, a cat needs three different names. First of all, there's a name that the family use daily, such as Peter, Augustus, Alonzo or James, such as Victor, Jonathan, George or Bill Bailey, all of them sensible everyday names. There are fancier names if you think they sound sweeter. Some for the gentlemen, some for the dames, such as Plato, Admetus, Electra, Demeter. But all of them sensible everyday names. But I tell you, a cat needs a name that's particular, a name that's more dignified. Else how can it keep its tail perpendicular or spread out its whiskers or cherish his pride? Of names of this kind, I can give you a quorum, such as Mangastra, Quaxo or Kurikopat such as Bumble Arena or Jelly Lodum. Names that never belong to more than one cat. But above and beyond, there's still one name left. And that is the name you never will guess. The name that no human research can discover. But the cat himself knows and will never confess. When you notice the cat in profound meditation, the reason I tell you is always the same. His mind is engaged in rapt contemplation of the thought, of the thought, of the thought of his name. His ineffable, affable, affin ineffable, deep and inscrutable singular name. Thank you.